let's take a look at my Monster High collection. I guess this will be part one. We'll take a look at some of my favorites coming up after this. Well, well, well. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Monster High doesn't exist anymore. Well, it kind of does. It's supposed to come back. There are three new dolls, two sets that are coming out, I believe. Pennywise and the Two Girls from The Shining. I think that's what they're doing. I don't think there was a third. I think there was just those two sets. That'll be really cool to see. I don't know when they're coming out. I don't know if the pandemic has changed that. I'm going through my toys and deciding what I want to sell and what I love and what I don't love. I really like the reboot. I know that that's not what everybody thinks. Now, since they brought on Cave Club, I've really had this new uh, resurgence, this new desire to look at all of my Monster High again. Also, I am trying to sell my excess toys. Now I have a huge, I have boxes and boxes of Monster High. These ones seem to be the ones that I really like that I'm gonna have the hardest time parting with, and that probably has a lot to do with the packaging. Cave Club, with Cave Club coming out now, really reminds me of some of these awesome sets, like this, what do they call it? I better put on my glasses for this video. Ghoul's Getaway. It's just this tiki, awesome, Hawaiian, tropical, paradise, primitive. So I love this collection. Now there are two of them that are more rare. I believe it's these two. Probably Walmart exclusives, if I remember correctly. I love the artwork. I love the packaging. I love these smaller boxes. I love the plastic boxes because they just showcased it so well. Also, you could line them up on your shelves like this way with the spines out and you could see all the characters and you could pull them out like a cataloged book. So this was my favorite packaging. Later on, the packaging got thinner and we lost the spines. And then the oldest packaging, which was cardboard, really gets banged up really easy and it didn't hold up as well as these plastic coated ones and the artwork wasn't as three-dimensional. These are shadow boxes. Really, really incredible artwork and display. And this also is a time where they started making things a little more simple, less paint, so it's more pops of color, which I talk about in many of my videos how much I love it. That is one collection that I really, really loved. Really obscure characters too. So that's what made this collection so amazing. You can see they feature three on the back of two of them and then they feature one on the back of that one. What else do I got here? I got the ones with they all have glasses on, Geek Shriek. So another collection of more obscure characters. Well, here's Frankie, not obscure. But they had these 50s glasses on, which I love, a horn rim glass. Big, chunky, cute, studious, nerdy looking awesomeness. Abby, who became less, she's kind of obscure, but not really obscure. And Gulia. These ones were right before the reboot, but there's definitely some reboot stuff happening with them. Those up here. Let's see what else. And then these came in two different sets too, but I'm not sure which ones came together. I guess they were three and three. So there was a part one and a part two. You could probably tell if I examined the boxes more closely, but I think three of them are more rare than the other ones. It's so nice to get Caddy. She is rare in the, you know, the remake sets. And Genie, come on, that's really cool too. Really cool horn rim glasses. Love that. Okay, what else do I got? This was a reissue set, so Creepateria. I'm not sure how different they are. I believe I have these in cardboard box form too. But again, the artwork and the shadow boxes and the spines make me love these. 
Now, there's a lot of series that you can also get in larger, like they come in packs like this big and they're not as basic as these ones. Like people would call these the budget ones, but I like how compact these are. I don't know if I showed these to you, let me. They also did this with the Swimline series. That they would reissue them in these boxes as well. I just love the presentation. The bright colors, the green, the black. Such a fun series. I don't know if they took away paint apps on those ones or not, but if they did, that's something that I personally like. What else do we got going on? Okay, here is, I believe it was the first, which ones came out first? It was really strange when Monster High rebooted. I believe that they did put out the Welcome to Monster High ones first, and we got the signature ones sporadically, and we didn't get a lot of the signature ones. I don't have the signature ones here today, but I have them in the other room, and I guess they will be in another video of other favorites. But, this was a pretty fun welcome to Monster High. This is when they rebooted, everyone got angry, but I was like, I love them even more. They're cuter, they're poppier, they're brighter. So, for me, I like them. I'm not loving this packaging as much as, oh yeah, because it doesn't have the same kind of spine. This was right where they were phasing it out. So I do love this packaging more, but there's still some shadow boxy stuff going on in there. And it was just really cute. Everybody was partying. The more obscure ones, again, I guess they were Walmart exclusives were my favorite. I think I'm coming to those ones now. Yeah, I am. But those are your standard. You can see that they're cross-referenced on the back here. And these were the special ones. So we got this Deuce Gorgon. Awesome. And then, or it was the second wave, maybe. And then we got Abby. And it's really strange that we got her. There was this giant, because she wasn't in this cartoon, if I remember correctly, but there was this giant, like, awkward monster -y girl who looked so much like Abby, but they gave her a different name, but I think it was supposed to be Abby. And then this one, it's either this one, she came in two different ways you could get her. You could get her in her signature outfit in this box, or you could get her in this one. And I can't remember, I think her signature outfit is the one that everybody was really jealous of because I think Canada got them. Her shoes are amazing, brain juice. Yeah, I think Canada got her in her signature outfit. I opened that one, I wish I had it in a sealed box, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to part with any of these. There's an extra one of these at Treasure Hunt that I think I want to buy to open. If it's still there, maybe it's not going to be there anymore. I don't know if I saw it today. Okay, what a... Wow. Okay, here's some more. These exercise ones, which are called Fantastic Fitness. I'm not sure how rare they are, but... They were pretty obscure. You didn't find them in regular retail in Canada. You had to find them like at, I think I found them at a hardware store. It was just sometimes these dolls just get exclusively released to weird stores. I guess in the States, they had them like Kohl's. I don't know if Kohl's had Monster High. But then there's these two, which are a set. And I got them also at some kind of obscure store, but I don't think these are as rare but it's just a really cool set with handbag craziness. So these two are crazy for handbags. Again, in my favorite kind of packaging. And then there was this collection. And this collection was really cool too. Ghoul Fair, I forget the scenario around this. I didn't really watch all of the movies, but they were trying to raise money. Yeah, they needed to raise money. And for, I don't know, some kind of for the circus, I guess. And this was like an offset from that circus set. So we got Halloween, we got Scara. They, I think they were all pretty obscure. And then we have Elzabat. It was good to see Scara again. It was good to see Halloween and Elzabat. Because these were not people that you saw very often. There was Heath also made another appearance. 
And then I believe that these three were the extra ones. See how they have a different logo on them? So one was like fundraising and the other one was actually working at the fair itself, I believe. So then there were these three special ones. I think these three are the more rare ones that were only available at Walmart, at least in Canada. And Skeleta, again, see, really awesome to get these more obscure characters. And then we had Claude. And that's really awesome. And then I got the reboots up on the top shelf there. So let me throw these back up. Love these boxes. So I guess the next time you see me, I will have to have a whole new selection up on the walls here. Let me tilt up and show you, see. I got this tiny little shelf that I filled in with Fisher-Price Little People. So up here I have the Shriek Wrecked. So this is from the reboot. She's my biggest disappointment out of all of my favorites because she is a gimmick doll and I really don't like the gimmick dolls. The electrified ones I don't have in package but they're definitely some of my favorite. So I guess I won't be showing them to you in box like this. But there was a Frankie who was a gimmick and I totally just ripped off her head. Unfortunately with this girl I wouldn't be able to ungimmick her because where are you gonna get a gold body like that? She is kind of cool in her own right. And I think if I take her out and flip her dress around, you can cover up her plastic painted on dress anyway. So that would be cool, as you can see in the picture. Oh, this is the bigger deluxe size series. So we have her. And this was a reboot series that actually some of the haters got behind and they actually didn't mind it because it has so much detail on it. Still cute. It's just done perfectly for me. It actually might be too much detail for me. See how they have things painted, which they weren't doing. I like how the suspenders look unpainted. And then um, I believe that this Rochelle, I believe she was hard to find. Maybe not. She was definitely a fan favorite. Look at the octopus in her head. Little pet. So great. And then we have Draculaura. Looking fantastic in that set. And then we have the three singles. And then they have three more. We have Catherine. One of my favorite, I guess because she's so solid white and she looks surreal, so I love her. Really awesome. And then we got one of the boys, and his body didn't change so much. His arms are a little thicker, he's a little more sturdier, but they did make a new boy body for the reboot that Claude got and Deuce got. That's a really awesome body, more Ever After High-like body, but they still made Gil stay thin. They even put some gills into his arms, but I do like the sturdiness of the reboots so much more. And then there was a Claudine, dressed up like a pirate as well. So that was a really great series. And then in the end, at the very end of this, well at the very end there was Monster High and Monster Families. That was my favorite series because of all the different sizes of characters. But there was this ballerina set and there was one set that I did not get because it was so expensive and I was just waiting for it to go down and then I waited too long and I missed out on it. I think the theme was, I don't, I don't remember what it was, but it was three other dolls and I didn't get it and I'm really upset. It's too late for me to get them now. If you can remember what that series was that came out around the same time as this set, let me know. They were really fancy. They were dressed up super fancy. That's all I can remember. Anyway, in this ballerina set, which these are super fancy ballerinas, I love this. There's Monica looking super awesome. Really great details on that dress. And then we got another Draculaura, who was kind of the star of the show. The reboot. And then a very nice Cleo looking super royal and look at those accessories and especially with her having just solid gold accessories looks incredible because that's what Egyptian 
artifacts are made out of. She looks incredible. So cool. They really did a great job with those dresses. All right, so that's part one. I hope it didn't go on too long. I had lots of fun looking at these. Let me know what your favorite series is below too. I'd love to hear. And uh, stay tuned for more coming up. If you want to see more Monster High dolls, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Love you guys. Hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.